Welcome back to the FlipNerd.com REI Classroom, where experts from across the real estate investing industry teach you quick lessons to take your business to the next level. And now, let's meet today's expert host. Good day, everyone, and welcome to REI Classroom. I'm Duncan Weirman, and I'll be your host today for this short segment. And I'm going to be talking about the nine considerations for writing your copy for social media marketing. This REI Classroom real estate lesson is sponsored by UglyOpportunities.com. We've all heard that we got to be doing social media marketing, but there's a trick to it, all right? Because when writing copy for different platforms, it's important to take into consideration the mood of the social media network as well as your audience, okay? So there's different standards for email copy, website copy, and social media copy. Um, and you gotta think about this as you write it because you don't, you, you do not wanna put the same text and, or copy up for everything, okay? You need to be innovative, you need to be fresh on each platform because um, it's gonna draw more attention and give you more social oomph, okay? So you got to also take a look, first of all, is what are the rules of the platform that exist, okay? So, you know, Twitter has 140 characters. Facebook, you know, you can probably get around 250 characters before you get that read more uh, post. So you got to remember what the rules are. You know, you got to think about should your copy, your content be short or long, okay? So you got to also number three is which subset of your audience is on that social media site. Every person who is a member of our target audience does not have access to you via every single social media network. Some will be on Twitter, some will be on Pinterest, some will be on LinkedIn, some will be reading your blog, all right? So you gotta think about that, all right? So number four is, uh, is the flat platform buttoned up like LinkedIn or more feel free like Twitter? Um, some platforms are more serious and professional, and that means sharing a picture of a cat hung up in the blinds might not be a good idea on LinkedIn, where sharing a picture like that on Facebook might be fine and you can relate it to your business, okay? Um, so as an example, you know, if I had on my blog and I'm writing to my audience, you know, how to sell a stinky house with 100 cats, all right, people actually looking at, you know, wow, you know, I've I had all these cats that live here, you know, that you could rope that in. We're on LinkedIn. I don't think it's going to work. Okay. So the other thing we got to look at, number five, is should you use hashtags or keywords? Okay. Even Facebook has gotten the practice of using hashtags, but is it appropriate to use them on every platform? No. Okay. Using them too much may show that you're not creative after all. And then number six is, is the platform visually based, okay? It's true that Twitter is trying to be more Twitter, uh, visual as in Facebook, but Pinterest and Instagram are leading that charge. So, you know, if you're doing maybe two um, uh, rehabbers, uh, you might wanna put more stuff out there on Pinterest with more pictures and stuff, okay? Um, you gotta think about number seven, what is your objective, okay? Uh, what is the point of your update or what you're sharing? Do you, what are you hoping to achieve? Is it well thought out, specific? Is it numbers driven uh, in, in, in that measure? Um, number eight is should you include a call to action or a CTA, okay? Um, not all the time, okay? Um, the type of CTA that your audience would like. Is it free? Is it free? Do they have to sign up for something? Um, and if you put it out there too much, you can actually get booted out of a social media network. So be careful about that, be wise. And the last thing we wanna consider is the information, is the copy we're putting out there shareable, okay? Um, you know, we want it to be shared. So the shorter, more visually orientated, relatable content is better to post on social media if you want it to be shared, okay? So in, in, in closing here, creating copy for social media is different from writing keyword rich articles or blogging. Just like writing blog posts, um, you know, it, it's again different than where in the old days people wrote these articles full of keywords to try and spam the search engines. So we really got to get back to my other seminar I did uh, on uh, REI Classroom is content marketing. What is our content strategy? And 
you you got to have a plan of action. And just by the way, if you'd like to get my 30-day uh, marketing blueprint of awesomeness, check me out on DuncanWeerman.com forward slash blog. And that's all we have today for REI Classroom. Again, from Duncan Weirman, have a great day. Homevestors, the We Buy Ugly Houses folks, is a franchise system of hundreds of real estate investors that have purchased over 65,000 houses. If you'd like to learn more about the most powerful real estate investing system in existence, whether you're a pro looking to take your business to the next level, or whether you have no experience at all but a burning passion to be successful in real estate investing, please visit flipner.com slash ugly to learn more. Please note the views and opinions expressed by the individuals in this program do not necessarily reflect those of flipner.com or any of its partners, advertisers, or affiliates. Please consult professionals before making any investment or tax decisions as real estate investing can be risky. Are you a member yet of flipner.com, the hottest real estate investing social community online? If not, you can join for free in less than 30 seconds and get access to hundreds of off-market deals, vendors in your market to help you in your business. And you can start networking with thousands of other investors just like you. Get your free account now at FlipNerd.com. Please check out the FlipNerd family of real estate investing shows, where you can access hundreds of expert interviews, quick tips, and lessons from leaders across the real estate investing industry. They're available at FlipNerd.com slash shows, or simply search for FlipNerd in the iTunes store.